Hi guys. So I'm going to do a, um, a reading for those people who are currently not in communication with a soul connection. Okay. So this is for people who are um, not currently with their partner or somebody who they want to be with. Um, you, could, you could be ghosted. You could be, um, you could have been with somebody and then you've broken up. It doesn't matter. Okay, you're just not currently in communication with this person. It doesn't matter how long the length of time is. It could be a week, a month, a year. I don't, I don't know. Um, that's that's none of my business. <laughs> but either way, you're not currently in communication with them. So it could be seven years. It could be twenty years. I don't I don't know. But this is basically just going to give you some insight on how they're feeling about you, how they. Um, you know what they're thinking about you, what they think about the relationship, the current energies, past energies, and potential future energies, okay? Um, so, let's just get into it. Alright, so, this is, uh, this is the Mystic Moon Oracle deck, and I'm just going to pull some themes to get an idea of what the current energy is for right now between you guys. Okay, so this is going to be their side, and this is going to be your side. So how are they currently, um, what's the current energy right now between the two of you? So on their side, we have New Direction. On your side, you have Divine Feminine. We also have Fifth Dimension on their side, and then on their side, we have Summer. Um, so between the two of you, the energy that connects you is received, and then we also have Surrender. Okay, so, like I said, this is current energy, so they may be moving on to something different right now, okay? They may be moving in a completely new direction. Um, it doesn't mean this is forever, it just means right now, they are not, I mean, obviously, if you're not in, <laughs> if you're not in communication, and you're not together, they are clearly moving in a new direction, okay? Um, they're on a different path right now. Okay, and that's okay. Now, fifth dimension, however, you know, it, this kind of goes along with divine feminine. Now, this is on your side. This person may, this is kind of like a twin flame term. So you can take this how it resonates. Um, now, if we are dealing with that, okay, um, and this is you, and you're dealing with the twin flame connection. Um, you are already together in the fifth dimension, okay? This is the spiritual plane. We're, this plane that we're in, the 3D, uh, this is, you know, this is just the material, okay? This is the physical realm. The fifth dimension is the spiritual realm. So, you're already together in this dimension. You don't on a soul level so this is you're already see you're already together here okay they may be going in a new direction now in this 3d dimension you're already together here see there's two people here one person here two people in the fifth dimension okay so we have divine feminine for you this is just the you know this is just the energy that you need to embody and realize who you are Okay. We have summer. So this is a recent past summer. So maybe you met this person recently, um, or you've come into this energy recently. I, I mean, potentially this realization maybe have come into light, or that you know maybe you're missing this person. Maybe this person has circled back around, where you're just sort not circled back around if you're in, not in communication, but like maybe. Um, you're just, they're kind of back in the on your radar for some reason. Maybe you're thinking about them again. Um, saying their name everywhere or something like that. Um, or maybe you're just missing them again. Either way, summer is significant, you know. Um, you recently met, the, met this person, or maybe they recently ghosted you. I don't know. But summer is kind of playing a, somewhat of a role here. Okay. So... 
what's bringing you together here is received. So just know that, you know, if you are together, if this is a twin flame, and I hate to use that term, it's so fucking cliche at this point, but is everybody who's a twin flame reader, uh, nobody knows what a fucking twin flame connection really is unless you're on the journey anyway, and even, even then you don't even really know. Um, anyway, so fifth dimension, um, yes, obviously if you're on the spiritual, if you're together in the spiritual realm of the fifth dimension, of course your messages are received because you're the same soul, <laughs> you're the same higher self. So of course it's going to be received. Um, you know, anything in a, in a 3d, it's kind of bullshit. So don't even listen to what you read on the internet because it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's hit or miss. I wouldn't focus on that. Um, but yes, it's been received. Okay. So just know that if you're thinking about this person, uh, I'm sure they're thinking about you too, but we're going to get into that in a minute. But yes, on the, on a 5d level, spiritual terms, their higher self. Yeah. It's been received because it's your higher self. So don't, don't even think for a second. It hasn't been received 100%. It has Okay. Now, surrender comes through as well, as far as the energy that's connecting the two of you. So this is more about surrender, surrendering to just letting things be. If they have left you, ghosted you, and you two are no longer in, you know, together, and this is this type of connection, you have to kind of just, you know, surrender to the divine and taking care, letting things happen the way that they're supposed to. It's, you know, the divine plan here. You can't force things. Um, <clears throat> you just have to kind of let things go as they will. So, you know, it's, it's about surrendering on both sides. I mean, you can't force them to do anything. But these kind of connections, it's push-pull energy. So you, if you surrender to what is, they will follow suit because only one only one of you really needs to do the work anyway as you change they change if it is a twin flame no. so these are the current energies happening here all right so let's get into how they may be feeling about you currently So what is this person thinking in the 3D? What is their 3D mentality right now? What is their 3D mind currently thinking about this person watching the video? Okay, so we have winter. We have guide. And we have pride and ego. Alright, so, I'm going to throw down some more as well to get more clarity on these. But, you know, maybe they associate you with something that, maybe they associate your relationship with winter. Okay, so maybe you guys were together in the winter. Maybe, you know, that you remind them of something in the winter time. Um, additionally, sometimes, look at this, it's like it's frozen. So, maybe you're an air, you're, maybe you, um... Maybe a little icy, <laughs> your personality, I don't know. Or maybe like this whole thing is just sort of like they've frozen it in time where it's like they've frozen this memory of you in time, you know. I, it could be, there's a lot of associations you can make with this card. But either way, you know, I don't think that they don't think of you. They definitely have some sort of um, association when it comes to this card. As far as guide, they could have looked at you as like someone who led them. Um, maybe they looked up to you as a guide. So, I, for some reason, I always associate this with like the Hermit card because of the lantern. Um, so you can look at this as two ways. Maybe someone who was actually a little withdrawn and it was kind of almost not mysterious, but like kind of... Uh, 
like a the Virgo. The sign of Virgo. Maybe this is a special message for Virgo. Um, but, you know, if you like someone who goes within and is actually kind of wise, you know, um, but also a little withdrawn, maybe. Um, but does act as kind of like a very wise kind of guide, you know, maybe a little more spiritual, perhaps. Maybe they saw you as that kind of person. They may be a little stuck in the, uh, the 3D. <laughs> Well, you're more uh, on the 5D realm, you know, they could be a little more materialistic. <laughs> Maybe they saw you as a guide. Um, and then we have pride and ego. So at the same time, maybe if they did, maybe they just saw you as a guide, but at the same time, you may have had a little bit of pride and ego involved. You know, were you a little bit, um, I don't know, did you brag about anything? Or maybe this is them. I don't know. But if, um, I mean, I asked about how they view you. So maybe they saw you as this. At the same time, a peacock is kind of beautiful. So maybe they saw you as a beautiful peacock. <laughs> but, you know, it's it. maybe they did kind of see you as a little bit haughty sometimes. You know? Uh, beautiful, but a little haughty. So if that resonates with you, then... I don't know. So, this is just 3D stuff, though. Remember, this is not material. So, let's see what messages. Um, actually, you know, I'm going to pull some more cards just to kind of get um, a little bit more clarity on this. Let's pull some. Let's see if there's any other messages here. Down. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. Okay. Um, yeah, so winter, uh, a little icy. Maybe um, maybe something happened in the winter and you, maybe they were expecting it. Like maybe you guys got in an argument in the winter. This I'm thinking, yeah, this is about iciness um, because maybe this card is about um, yeah, Pisces. <laughs> this has to do with the Pisces. So if you're a Pisces, this could be a special message or if you were dealing with the Pisces. Um, see the fish? Pisces. Um, but yeah, this is about iciness, I think. Um, or an, like a, a sign that's born in the winter, which it, again is Pisces, so that's like uh, March, end of February, early March. But um, upright, this is like coming in with like an apology, right? A small apology, but or like a little, it's like a little offer, a small apology, but reverse, there is no apology coming in. <laughs> So maybe you guys got into an argument in the winter, and um, yeah, you didn't, they didn't get one, or you didn't get one, you know, someone wanted an apology from you, maybe they didn't get one, maybe they didn't get the apology they were looking at, so this is kind of, maybe this is the last thing on their mind, this uh, like small, this apology or lack of, and it's the last thing that they're thinking about, you know, this last fight, or whatever it was in the winter um, could have been this the last thing on their mind the last time that you guys spoke maybe okay um, this whole, all right so then we have guide and what clarified it was the nine of Pentacles this is the um, the single card um, this kind of goes with it yeah as far as I'm concerned because um, you know this is a card you're going within you're withdrawing <laughs> This person, again, this is a single car, they're solitary, they're kind of going off on their own, doing their own thing. They're, they're looking good, though. They look, they look really good. Um, as, as I think it, they go together, they go hand in hand here. So I think that they look, yeah. I think they both look really good. <laughs> I think that he, they viewed you as someone who looked great. Um, as and look here she has the bird you know 
it kind of fits in with the whole thing with the guide. Like she's 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 guiding the bird, you know. Um, and she kind of controls it. Maybe he. I think that he thinks of you as this woman, you know, this single, beautiful. She's just looking really good, single, you know. Um, so. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, okay, so she's reversed. She's a little uh, imbalanced, unstable, not financially 100%. Um, definitely goes with pride and ego. A um, little prideful, for sure. Okay, so could be dealing with some... Like, this is definitely uh, the more earthy energy. So Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. If you have that in your chart you know, somewhere, but yeah, these two definitely go together, so he could be looking at you as like, you know, someone who's a little bit, definitely prideful, maybe, um, but kind of like out of balance when it comes to, um, maybe finance, or maybe your job situation, maybe like a home situation, something, you know what I mean, and there's just something, not 100% has it together, right, so, Anyway, so that was the 3D stuff. But that's okay. That's okay. We're going to get more messages. All right. So let's see what the, his 5D self has to tell you. Or his or hers. Why am I saying his? Like all my, all my subscribers are women. <laughs> It could be Ben. It could be anything. I make assumptions. Right, let's see what their 5D self is saying to you. Their higher self. What does their higher self have to tell you? How does their higher self feel about you? I mean, I feel like this question is kind of redundant. They're, of course they love you, but, you know, let's just get confirmation. What do they want to tell you? Fall. Contemplation. The answer is no. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I mean, fall could be, you know, s specific for some people, but it doesn't mean they're coming forward. Um, but you know, maybe you met in the fall. Maybe they, there's some significant event happening in the fall. You know. But it does, right after that, there's contemplation. So maybe they are contemplating coming toward you. I don't know. It does say the answer is no. So, you know, this is the way the current energies are going. But let's throw some more uh, tarot on it to get some ideas of what, what the hell is going on here. So, okay. All right. Hmm, yeah. Alright, here's what we got. Sorry, I mixed these around, but I'll just put them here. So it looks like somebody has... This is like the wish fulfillment card. Right? The dream come true card. And the fall. This is you. What is it that you really want here? You know? Do you want them to come to you? Do you want them to come back? Could it happen in the fall? Potentially, potentially, because it looks like they're contemplating giving between two people, right? Maybe there's a third party situation. I hate bringing that up. It's so stupid, but you have to when there's three people here. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Here's the scales. Um, but they're definitely contemplating giving between two people here. Let's see, it's contemplation. Right? They're, they're contemplating this situation between, there's, it's who do they give to? This person or this person? How do they balance it out? Now, we have the answer is no. Here's how you can read this. Now, we have the nine of swords, you know, so it's, you're in your head about this. You are in your head. They're in their head, maybe. They're, somebody's in their head about it. 
You gotta get out of your head because if you stay in your head and your mental thoughts, this is thoughts, this is all your mind. If you stay in this energy, the answer is no, they're not coming. If you stay in this energy, get out of this. You have to get out of this because if you do, like I said, the energy is going to push them away. You got to focus on yourself. Get the fuck out of this energy because otherwise you're done. You are, you're messing yourself up for sure. So get out of this. Sorry, get out of this. <laughs> otherwise this is going to happen. If you want this, get out of this right now. Get out of this because they are thinking about it. They're certainly thinking about it, right? Okay. So let's see what they, um, let's, let's pull some sex tarot. Let's get to the good stuff. <laughs> let's just get to the good stuff, shall we? All right. So how are they feeling about you sexually? Let's get to this the good stuff. So let's pull the romance oracles and throw some sex tarot down. Let's just do this. Let's just break this bitch open. See what the romance angels say. I'm gonna pull four. Okay, let your friends help you flirt. So this is gonna be um, how they're feeling about you romantically, and then we're gonna pull some sex tarot and actually um, throw it down on top. Codependency, romantic feelings. Okay. So, let's pull the sex tarot down on top. Right. Sorry if you can't see all these cards, but oh well, I'll deal with it. My camera's not big enough. Some, how are they feeling about you sexually? I'm not reading reversals on these. Okay. Alright. Okay. So. Alright. Here we go. Okay, so. Here's what we have. Let your friends help you with the chariot. Okay, so let your friends help you, right? This is going to be backwards, guys. Ask for, ask, ask for and accept support from others. So, you know, maybe they're asking their friends what to do here. Um, they may be, you may have mutual friends that are kind of like in between this right now um you may both be going to the same friend <laughs> to kind of figure out what the hell's going on um these friends actually may also be popping up in both of your physical spaces and you may not even know it um it tends to happen with twin flames um before they come into your physical life the friends do Trust me on that one. Um, then we have the chariot conquest. Okay. Um, the scepter of command. To conquer a rival, you must change tactics and perspective. Faking a retreat and then staging a forceful surprise attack. So how does this go with let your friends help you? It's almost like... 
<laughs> it's almost like somebody may be using the mutual friends as a way to kind of get to the other person. So if you are using their friends to get to them, that's a no-no, guys. Don't do that. That's going to push them away more. <laughs> don't use mutual, don't use their friends to get to them or get information on them. That is not the way to do it. First of all, you got to let their friends go. All right. Um, I know you need to, you can, you feel like that's a way to get information and draw them closer. Don't do it. Do not do it. Um, <laughs> don't take <laughs> Just don't. All right. Um, then we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this, you know, here's how I'm taking it. Be open to other people. Go out and enjoy yourself. You know, flirt with other people if you have to. Be open. Don't be, you know, so closed off where you're like th saving yourself for this person who may or may not come back anytime soon. Next thing you know, years have gone by and you're like, Jesus Christ, I'm old. I have nobody. You know, don't do that. Open yourself up to other people and flirt. You know, we have, um, with flirt, we have pleasure. The magic of the fan. Pleasure is like hot coals. It does not flame, yet it burns. Right? So, I think these two go hand in hand. They actually have the same imagery, kind of. This guy is, you know, kind of pleasuring her in both. In both. You have to be open to that. You have to be open to another person coming in and giving you that kind of pleasure. Right? Um, as far as him, he may... Here's the thing. Why do I keep saying he? You know, this so this person... Um, the way I look at this, right? You have to be open to other people flirting with other people and by doing that and pulling that energy away this person may be thinking about doing these things to you it kind of by pulling the energy away it allows them to start thinking about you in this way again okay so it's like but until then when you push that energy on to that one person they can't think about you you're the last thing they're going to think about they can feel that energy. It's like smothering energy. Um, so until you pull your energy away and open yourself up to somebody new, um, I'm telling you this. I'm telling you from personal experience. <laughs> until you pull your energy away um, and open yourself up to somebody new, they won't come forward. They, they won't think about you this way. But once you do, I am telling Guess who shows up? Guess who starts thinking about you like this? Mm -hmm. if you want them to start thinking about you like this if you want to be if you want them to think about you like this again mm -hmm. start start really pulling your energy away and be open to new people and don't be afraid to actually love somebody else guess what when you don't need them or want them anymore mm -hmm. that's when they start banging your fucking door down so then we have, <laughs> then we have codependency. Sorry, these are backwards. Uh, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So somebody has some codependency issues, probably both sides. But um, you know, what is your codependency? This is like the devil card in tarot. Tarot. Why do I say tarot? Um. So it's like, what are you? What's your codependent? stuff right so what do you who's what do you what are you addicted to are you addicted to this person are you addicted to um what are you addicted to do you have abandonment and rejection issue rejection wounds that you need to um sort out because that's good uh, codependency right there it makes it really difficult to walk away 
you this is just this is gonna be a huge trigger for fear-based energy and pushing that energy out onto somebody else. Trust me. Um well with this one we have the knave of pentacles. Pretty sure is the knave of pentacles. I think the knave is like the page. Yeah, arousal. Transgression leads to excitement, but neither one nor the other can last without some moderation. Yeah. Okay. Kind of goes in with codependency. You have to control. You have to learn how to control, like, your the, yourself. You know what I mean? You have to understand what it is that you're, um, it's a moderation, you know? Like, how do I explain this? So, you know... What are the tr the transgressions are kind of like transgression leads to excitement, but neither one nor the other can last without some moderation. So yeah, I mean, it's fun. With every high, there's you know highs are really exciting, right? But there's always a low. There's always a low. <laughs> So that's why moderation kind of is like that, almost like a neutral zone, which is like, you can't get there until you realize what your actual, um, your issues are. You know, you have to moderate yourself. What are your issues? What's your codependency? You know, so the way I look at this is that, you know, as far as the way he feels about you, there could be he may look at you like you have some codependent issues, okay? He may, you may trigger his codependency, which makes him want to be, you know, it, it, there's highs and lows with you. That's probably, this is the way I'm interpreting it. There are big highs and big lows with you, and it triggers codependent issues. Then we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So there's definitely romantic feelings there. It's the way he feels about you. If I say he one more time, he or she feels about you. I'm gonna slap this shit out of myself. All right, and then we have the magician. Uh. Courtship. Yeah, that goes with the romantic feelings. Courtship. Magic intention. Desire in the drive behind a new story. Willingness and passion. Guarantee success. So I think that this person, I mean, this person does have feelings for you and they want success. In this, they want success with you. They want to manifest a new relationship with you and they want success and they have romantic feelings for you. This is the way they think about you. They want to manifest success. Can they come forward right now? No, they can't. The energy is just too built up between the two of you. Something is preventing them from coming forward. And what I think it is, what I see with these cards, somebody is pushing out their energy way too much. You know, there's fear here. I'll get one more advice card to see. What can you, let's see, what, what is going on here? Why are they not coming forward? All right, so that's a les lesson. Fear. What if I fucking, what the fuck did I just say? Fear. Fear. <laughs> I think that answers the question. They're, they're fear. Okay. And lessons. So, you know. Take this as a lesson for right now and like pull your energy back. Focus on yourself. And you know, realize that they do care. They do care. Um things are gonna change, I think. You just have to really, really focus on yourself. And um, you know, definitely don't uh make this the number one priority. For sure, because it's definitely been, if this is something that you've been focusing on for a while, you gotta stop. <laughs> but know that they do care. They definitely do care. They do have romantic feelings, but it's, I think it's triggering 
um, the major codependency issues on both sides. So, um, anyway, guys, that's your reading. And, um, so I'm like flipping through cards. 